And welcome back to Mad Minister Gaming and the Captain of Industry Let's Play episode 17. I had to look at my note because I forgot. Um, done a little bit of work off camera. I've been letting the game run a little bit, trying to do a little terraforming. Um, still digging up the coal. The coal's la I'm barely using coal anymore. Uh, still trying to dig up all this copper. I actually started stacking it into a ramp. This is, I mean, iron. This is all iron right here. There's nothing mixed into it. I was just trying to get most of it out of here. There's still some on the ramp, but the way I got to dig it out is not really effective. Um, added a second uh, chemical plant to try to make more fertilizer. Now we're actually banking some fertilizer now. So we have fertilizer for more fertilizer for the farms, although there's one not connected yet. Uh, so we working on that. I don't like this piping, but you know, I had to do something. There's, there's the game doesn't take the pipes up these ramps very good. So uh, we're going to figure something out with that. Um, almost lost all my chickens again. I had to cull a whole bunch of them to get it down where I can feed them again. I actually paused my baking unit because, uh, it was, uh, I wasn't producing enough animal feed to keep the chickens alive. So I had to call a bunch of them and got that taken care of. And we got our new farm set up completely going now. Uh, we're going to get into doing something with the excess potatoes because uh, I need to make some use out of everything I have in my pure soil. Mound is growing by the minute. But I guess what we're going to go and check out right now is the map. And yes, pirates, we are surrounded by pirates, 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 pirates. Uh, so I was able to update, or I should say I was able to upgrade the, the ship with the radar, which can see out a space out in front of it. So I don't run into pirates anymore because of, I ran into a, a pirate battleship that I lost the first my first fight. So now like I'm going to this location right here. And going there, I'll, I'll discover what's in these two locations. So I don't actually run, I won't run into pirates no more until I'm ready to. My ship is uh, not really in a proper state to deal with the ships that I think I'm going to be running into. But we have discovered some stuff out here. We found a uh, co another coal mine, which I'm probably not going to need anytime soon. Uh, a uranium mine, which is down the tech tree for, for nuclear power, which is good. I uh, found a uh, groundwater well, which I guess, I don't know, I can make plenty of water. Uh, another quartz mine. And then we're going to go find out what's in these two locations. So the only thing we have to deal with that is raise our reputation with the settlements that we already have. And I got a settlement where I can trade electronic parts too with, which is going to work out too for once we get the level four research lab up and running, which we're going to do as soon as we figure out what is in these two locations right here. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky and it's another, another village, but most likely it's going to be pirates. So let's see. And if that's the case, then I, we're just gonna be running around building reputation. Yep. And we got more pirates. So what do we have here? We have a limestone quarry. And what is this? Uh, I guess there's just some kind of treasure chest or yeah, I wouldn't win that fight at all. And it looks like that's what is going on. So let's send the ship home and let's start working on reputation for where's the one that has this one right here. Donate. It's going to need only 96 construction parts level two, which will load those up. We have plenty of those. And I built another uh, uh, electric assembler number two to make lab equipment because we are going to upgrade uh, these laboratories. So I'm going to actually upgrade this one to uh, level three because I, I want to keep a level three. I think I need to keep at least the one below where I'm at. I think. I'm not sure. And we'll, once this one's leveled up, we'll upgrade that to level four. You can see I am producing a lot of uh, what may be mistaken as gold, but it's not. It is sulfur. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm i just storing it for now because its production rate is pretty low. 
I added a second uh, sour water stripper, which I am now processing all the sour water that I'm making. So we are not dumping sour water into the environment. So the only thing that I have a debuff on as far as the pol uh, pollution is air pollution at a negative seven. Uh, but I, I'm not gonna be able to get away with that for now because there's some things I just have to deal with, but we are making an, ab an abundance of ammonia now, which is fine because it's set to automatically burn off. And that is what we are using to make the fertilizer over here in these chemical plants. You see, I have another full tank of ammonia and these two plants are kicking out 12 fertilizer per 60 as long as we have the materials in it. And that is being piped into the system to support the farms. So while that lab is upgrading, what we need to do is I am going to, we're going to add another large storage because I want to move Actually, I don't have to. I have room to put that right there. Let's uh, let's get rid of this. So what I want to do is I need to start making something useful out of my excess potatoes. And my plan is I was thinking about making fuel gas and a compost, but I think I'm going to make animal feed instead because I seem to not make enough animal feed. So what we're going to do and we're going to use a u-shaped a u-shaped balancer so we need to cut this belt so we're going to cut this belt right here for now boom get away get it out of here super fast put this u-shaped balancer in here like that put the belt back super fast build this so what we're going to do, we're going to make the bin for food priority out. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put, it is a digester. I always forget where the digester is at. Where I think recycling, there it is. Uh, no. So is it the mixer? Is it the mixer that does potatoes to animal feed? Yes, it is. So the mixer. And we're just going to drop it over because it doesn't need water. So we could just put it wherever. We're going to drop it right here. Uh, we're going to select that potatoes. Boom, 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 boom. It doesn't take any water. So all I need to do. And we're going to do another one up there. Uh, actually, so I just built the thing up there. Uh, we'll see how much this produces first. What's it going to produce? Uh, four, it's 60 potatoes for 48 per 60. Okay, let's see how that works out. I think that's going to be able to burn through a lot of the potatoes. So let's just let's just do it like that. Ah, uh, oh, wait a minute. I got to put it in the out, so output side. Let's, uh, let's cut this. And... Uh, uh, you know what? We'll stick it right here. Why not? Uh, U shape conveyor. You know what? Let's just throw two of them on there just so it kind of looks cool, I guess. I don't know. I know it uses electricity, but whoop de doo. There we go. Coming out with ya. And then we're going to put a small bin to collect the animal feed there and let's go animal feed is a u-shaped connector also right uh, where's animal feed animal feed is it in here there it is animal feed u-shaped connector there we go let's quickie build this and oh wait a minute that just totally eliminated my whole purpose <laughs> let's let this build uh hold on wait a minute i just screwed that up big time don't ask me what i was thinking uh yeah let's get rid can we cut this when it's already built no we can't right we gotta just delete it i don't ask me what i was thinking 
don't ask me what I was thinking. 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 It needs to go off of this belt. Oh, why did I ah, see? Let's just get these two belts right there. I don't ever see myself going to another bin. So let's, just in case we do, nah, let's put that right there and let's put that mixer up one. Let's put it, should we just stick it right in? Yeah, let's put it right in there. <laughs> Potatoes, let's select it again. The potato, 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 cookie build. And let's grab this U-shape conveyor again. And this one we could just do like this. Plug it right in. Quickie build this. Okay, it doesn't look as clean as I thought. If I'd have put this over one, I could have went behind it, but that's fine. And oh, and now it came and smacked the bin, which I didn't want it to do. Let's just go ahead and plug that bad boy right into it. Oh, wait a minute. What are we doing? No, 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 no. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm having a rough time right now, right? Let's kill that off. Kill that off. Get rid of it. I only need one bin. We'll plug it right in. Let's try this third time's a charm, right? Third time's a charm. <laughs> okay, so the trucks can still get to the potatoes because they can get right next to the bin. And this is going to be producing 48 animal feed per 60. Um... And hopefully it'll just take the over overrun from the harvest and just use up as much of the potatoes as possible. That is the idea. We're going to do the same thing over here and deal with this potato bin. Let's go ahead and cut this belt right there. And put this U-shaped balancer in. I didn't cut enough of the belt. Do it fast. Uh, will it fit in there? Doesn't let you do it like. Oh, it does. I thought it. I thought it didn't let you stick. Put it right in. Oh, did I set this one up for? So priority out is to. Is to the the big hopper for food. Good. Okay, so here. Let's just copy this setup right here. It's a copy. Copy, 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 copy. Put it right there. Plug it right in. Get the whole thing quickie built. Uh, select uh, potatoes. And there we go. Uh, priority is to the food bin. And we'll let this one. Uh, I don't know if I showed this before or not, but these balancers, the flat balancer, the, uh, the sorter, or the flat balancer U-shape. I haven't used a molten balancer. I don't know what you use molten balancer, but I mostly use pipe balancer. The cool thing about them, if you're unsure of the orientation, what's going on, if you click it, on the window, it's orientated, and if you rotate the screen, it maintains its orientation. You see how that's see how see how it is. See how no matter how I look at it, I already, I know what that one output is going to the food bin for the potatoes, and I think that is cool that they did it like that. Great idea, great idea. So this is producing animal feed. So we don't we want import off. Import off once that sends them in, and what it should do 
is it should they the truck should start dumping them into these bins right here because uh this right here once i turn the bread maker back on isn't going to be able to keep up with the wheat for because i want to run these chicken farms a little higher now, now with this production we're gonna find out exact why aren't you producing anything okay there it is we're gonna find out how many chickens i can support and now so this laboratory over here should be upgraded it it is level do 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 three so we are going to upgrade it to level four i have everything i need for that yes we do uh the only thing is is i'm not going to have enough workers for it i only have 16 available uh that's interesting we're i guess we'll have to turn the beacon back on and okay so you got the all required cargo it was this one right Deliver cargo. There we go. So let's send the ship off to deliver my goods to increase my reputation with that island. And I guess the other thing we can do while we're waiting for this to upgrade. Uh, oh, no wonder it's going slow. We're running at slow speed. And so we'll, we'll let them deliver it the old fashion way. And the other thing we can do. Oh, excuse me. That probably spiked pretty loud. Is we have these uh, these decorative squares, I'll call them. Uh, we have the square with columns, square light, square dark, and square with a fountain. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they do. So we're just going to build. I think I'll put it. Um, I think we'll put it. We'll put the fountain there. And let's see. Let's quickie build it. I want to see if there's some kind of bonus to these. It doesn't say on the tooltip. So I don't know if we'll get some kind of unity bonus or some kind of health bonus or some kind of some kind of. I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, they're not very expensive. They're they're cheapy level one material. So I don't I'm imagining they're not going to do a whole lot. And I'm going to extend the housing unit that way into the, all this new flat space i'm creating anyway so putting them on this end is no big deal let's see so we're, we're okay what do we got uh that uh, looks pretty cool right is there any oh with fountain it gives a um uh hospitals open a population overview does it give something on here settlement quality uh, that I don't think that was there. Decorations. There we go. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, let's go ahead and build. Uh, we got the fountain built. Let's build the column. And then let's build these these squares. That's a square light, right? That's a light one. Light. And we'll build a dark one right next to it. There we go. We got all four of them. Uh, let's see. Uh, settlement quality is 0.17 right now with just the one built. Let's see what it goes to. Uh, that's kind of boring looking. Uh, the benches are kind of big compared to the size. Like these benches are freaking huge compared to the size of the housing unit. So they're, they're massive benches. Like I got some like minor giants going on. Oh, that, that looks pretty cool. I guess we could build the settlement around these. I'm going to extend. I'm going to make land here. Any, oh, I'm not going to have a space. I got to do this one. We're going to come out this way anyway. Cre increase the land mass. So let's see. Okay. What did that do for me? Settlement quality point three, four bonus. Eh. Um, are they upgradable yet? No, they're not. All right. Well, you know, little, little decorations. Uh, I guess we'll just leave it like that. Really not in the way. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, where's the ship at? So we're at Reputation 2. Nothing new popped up. What's what's the second donation? 144? Okay, let's go. Let's go do that. Let's get back. Boom. 
Start loading the ship. There we go. Okay, so uh, we don't have the workers yet to uh, because this thing's gonna take oh 30. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna. I was what's three is 16, 30. Oh, okay, yeah, it, it didn't quite double. Oi, uh, oh, I'm not gonna have enough. I gotta build. I got to build some housing because there's not enough room. So I've been trying to be, I've been trying not to overextend the housing. Uh, because I didn't want to risk getting too many people and, and like outstripping my food production. But then I, I didn't realize what I turned on. Where's it at? Population. I turned, I stopped the uh, natural population growth. Cause it was just, it, it snowballed on me for a hot second back and it, it caused me a little bit of trouble. So now I have room for 1,820. So with the beacon on, it usually takes a couple months. Uh, okay. So let's see if we can't send the boat back out before we go back and check on the potatoes. All required cargo is loaded. There we go. Let's send them, let's send them back, uh, deliver cargo. And let's see if we get anything new on the... All right, so let's check this potato stuff. Uh, man, full of animal feed already. Uh, are they... I guess I could run a belt back here. But the belts take electricity. It's probably not that big of a deal, actually. Um, so animal feed, we could actually... I don't want to burn animal feed, but I... I can also make fuel gas with potatoes with an anaerobic digester just to use up the potatoes a little faster. Like, see, there's still potatoes backed up on the line. I could put another balancer, put another line out to make fuel gas, but no, we're going to leave that. We're going to leave that for now. Did we get anything new? Uh, it made the establishment unity wise for these contracts cheaper. I don't need none of the stuff is trying to, trying to trade with me. What's the next donation? 120 construction part threes. Okay. Let's, let's just, we'll do that. We got the, we got the production for that. And all right uh do i have the workers yet no uh how far along is this is it close no more refugees available no active pro progress resets if the beacon wait a minute it's working what are you talking about no more refugees available what do you mean uh no more refugees available i need some workers Okay, I know how to get workers quick. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I had the unity to spend, might as well. Now I got the workers for it. Okay, so let's unpause this. I'm back down to 14. So now we have the research lab four ready to go. So that what that's going to do is we, we're opening up the tech tree from this line to the right. Uh, and I believe there's a research lab five and that's the last one now in at this point in the game where we're at. So here in the four, um, we have stuff. Captain's tomb. Uh, Captain's tomb provides final resting place for generation of captains who led the people. This island when completed fire, fire should be always lit and tomb should be decorated. Blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Here, ship's weapons definitely, definitely need some, some more firepower. Uh, we're going to get bigger stores. Now, these can hold 4,320 units. Uh, the mega trucks. Uh, I'm going to actually, I'm going to have to trade some electronics to get these, but these huge haul trucks for the mines are what's going to be, what's going to be cool. And the mega excavator. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the tank truck. For fluids, for like fuel trucks and water and what, I don't think I'm going to do that. And we'll have to obviously build the vehicle depot three. Uh, we get another chemical plant. Have we have some, some uh, 
uh, different recipes. Hydrogen production. Um, I saw some hydrogen stuff down the road. We'll get to that. Uh, conveyor belts level three. Uh, we can boost our vehicle cap another twenty. So after this, we get we will I could have a cap of one hundred and thirty vehicles total. Um, wastewater treatment two. Uh, my wastewater treatment plant one seems to be working just fine. This one just uses filter media and in, instead of sand, but I I can't make filter media. And I need to find some sugar cane seeds, which I think I'm about to do that fighting pirates. But uh, what we're going to, what I want to do, though, is, where is it at? Uh, oh, and then the second tier is a cargo, but here, power. I want to get into these next uh, power generation units. And I think this power generator three is it, it's, it's better, it's, it has higher efficiency. I like how I like the ability to produce way more power than I need to. So that's what I'm going to go. I yeah, that's what I'm going to go. I'm going to go with this one first. And I think here the very next one. Yeah. Nuclear energy. Uh, and yellow cake, which um, we're going to have stuff that what we'll the research that hydrogen fluoride. I guess I'm going to research it will show us how to make it. And then the other thing here, I could take the meat trimmings plus six flour salt and make sausage. But I'm not. There's another reason why I want to get the chicken farm going is we get the meat trimmings from the chicken. But for right now, we are going to go for that power generation. And once that's done, we'll go to, we're going to go to the, uh, actually, we'll just queue them up right now. Do I want to do the ship's weapons first or storage? Mm, actually, I think we'll go mega vehicles, then storage, then ships weapons. Uh, let's see. I'm okay with the truck so far. Uh, this I have to wait till I. Well, I don't want to do that because I think I want to go to the bigger. No, nah, the the depot's fine. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make the refueling of my equipment a lot uh more streamlined. So we got a lot of stuff keto. It's going to take a while for this research to be done because I'm only have one uh, facility producing that research lab three equipment with the, what it needs. Uh, I'm making plenty of liquid nitrogen lab equipment one. That, that's fine. It's just going to take a little while, but I am OK with that. For now. And then we're going to have to really figure out what to do with this sulfur instead of me just adding storage bins onto it. Uh, diesel production is pretty much stabilized. I'm pretty much staying quite oh, right about this level. Actually, let's look at that. Uh, products, uh, diesel. So we can see that uh, this year we've produced 324 units of diesel. We've consumed 363 uh, last year we produced 432 and consumed 906. Uh, we had a, a reshuffling of diesel production in that in that year, so it kind of threw it up, threw it off a little bit. But right here you can see that the uh, uh, the uh, consumption spiked up again. So uh, we're gonna. Uh oh, why is that? Is something plugged? What's going on here? Okay, that spun up. Uh, what happened here? Okay, there it goes. Uh, this one should be running all the time because that's why I'm sending excess steam out of this system. That there's, it's not regulated. It should just be running, 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 running. Uh, I don't understand why that was going on there. But yeah, the the diesel seems to be fine. I I know I am burning through more than I would because I just got the trucks just doing all kinds of driving and we can see we're about to start cutting into that do we need the iron right now for anything because what i can do if i need iron i could just send an excavator to the back side of it to dig it out and deliver iron because what i want to do i want to get this a lot of this on the same level like i'm just cutting straight through this top tier and i'm just cutting straight to where this coal deposit is and, I, and the plan is just to keep going back 
till we hit that gold deposit. Uh, that's going to take forever. I only got two excavators working here. I think we're going to start retiring these uh, level one excavators and putting all level twos in. And then here, uh, I want to cut this flat and I want to go, I want to cut straight across here. Well, maybe not there, right here. Cut that thing flat all the way and then start leveling it out so that the building for the island is on one level. So I don't got to deal with all these crazy ramps and stuff like that. And I think what I'm going to do for one section, I'm uh, when I feel that I have enough. Uh, actually, let's pause this again. When I feel like I have enough production for vehicles, I think I'm going to take two excavators. And I'm just going to have them dig down somewhere and see how deep they can go. Like, just dig a ramp straight down. I'm curious. And I'm thinking about doing it, like, not, you know, obviously, can't go to the water. Although, I kind of be curious what that looks like. I'm thinking about doing it somewhere off to the side where they could just go a long way into whatever they're going for and just see how deep the game will let me go. And actually, in the coal mine might be a good spot for them. Like, to start right here at a ramp and just go deep, deep, deep all the way down. Because then they could dig it all the way over here. Because I don't need any truck traffic to go back there because everything goes around the side. So I think that's uh, that's going to be some side thing to do. Okay, so um, I haven't built this secondary system yet because I obviously know that I'm going to need to excavate out over here. And there's not enough space here. If I, if I dig this all the way out to get all this iron out of here, it's going to collapse in even with the walls. And it's going to tear up. So... I already know I put all this work into building this over here, but the only thing I need to move, the storage can stay because this storage can stay. The only thing it needs to move is all the production facilities. I kind of need to flip it or back it up to in on this. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eventually just back the whole thing up to here. But what I want to do is I want to take this out a little bit farther. Because I can get into this iron ramp from the back side of it and not even mess with the ground level. That's the plan anyway. And I want to make sure I don't accidentally cut that off. Matter of fact, now that it is, we can move it out to here. Mm, actually, you know what I'll do? I'm just going to fill in around it, leave a little... A little area for it to dump water into and just keep building the land mass out land mass out let's see how much dump space we have we're good cut that out and then matter of fact right now we will just edit the area and move it over we'll just move it to here right there we go dump take it straight out like that there we go and then I also want to take this out and go back and straighten this out. And I think it needs, I think it could come to about, let's see. I think as long as I don't get into none of the green, if I bring it out to like here, I get, I don't know. I'd probably play it safe. Just do it right here. Just come out and go straight across that green line. I think I need to stay out of this. I'm not sure. Or is it, or is it just the, the I don't know. But to be safe, I think I'll just stay out of here because we can't move this. And we'll just start building no more land right there. Uh, you can see how slow that power generation research is going because I only got one. It's actually building them fast. Um, You know what? Let's upgrade this one. We'll upgrade it. It's apparently... Everything's re no, everything's not researched over here. I need canola. Uh, I guess we could always build one. If it comes down to that, yeah. Well, when it comes to that, we'll just build another level three. Uh, this. Okay, I accidentally prioritize it right when they deliver everything. That's fine. 
Uh, I have the workers for this right because this one takes 30. I have 47, so that'll leave me with 17 to do whatever else I need to do. And then that'll we'll unpause that. Boom, 17 workers. And then they just need to deliver lab equipment three. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. It's putting out. Is that gonna plug it up? Uh, yeah, look at, I have, uh-oh, I didn't notice that. This has recycle. Uh, is that going to, no, it's still, it's still producing. I wonder where that's going. It's not going in there. I wonder where the recyclables is going. Let's see, we have this sorting plant. Recycling can transform the island's economy into a significant way as it allows to recover portion of raw materials from various sources like settlements, maintenance, or research. Recycling reduces the need for raw ma minerals. Um, damn, that takes 45 workers. But it's not stopping even though it's backed up. Look, it is still researching. I wonder if it'll research faster if it's not backed up. I need 45 workers for that. Uh, does it doesn't take any electricity. But then I'm going to get this scrap and I'm going to have to figure out a way to. Then I got to process the scrap. Can you can we dump scrap? Is that on the. No, it's not. You can't dump scrap. So you would have to drop it into a blast furnace because a blast furnace ex blast furnace except scrap. Mm. Problem is, uh, I wish it would let you turn it into slag because I can just, yeah, we're gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. I didn't ever even pay attention to that, but it, I guess because it doesn't stop the research, it's because it's still going, right? It's not stopped. It doesn't say output plugged. See, working. Working when other buildings when their output is when they can't get rid of something they stop working Huh, okay. Well, we're gonna leave that alone So right now at this point of the game I'm kind of at a point where it takes a long time to do stuff and I think I just need to build oh We almost forgot deliver cargo I'm at the point where I think I just need to build more vehicles. Um, let's let's check out my vehicle maintenance uh, global need is 436 and I can make I'm making 480 per 60 uh, So we're okay there I would just have to keep an eye out plus I have a backup one here sitting waiting with a whole bunch of uh, with it's pretty much backed up Which I had to dip into one time already cuz uh, yeah, I almost had another uh, maintenance So um, I think for now, this is probably going to be a short episode till I figure out what I really need to do. Like I need to figure out that recycling thing. I, I didn't, that's new. I didn't even notice that. I guess I should be paying more attention to that. Oh, I'm producing fuel gas there too. Oh yeah. So two anaerobic digesters, which we could probably do that over here. Right. Cause those are full. Um, I guess I can mark them to be empty so that it dumps them into the big bin to feed the chickens let me see that one's full that was full that one's full so let's increase the ch increase the chicken population boom and then we'll turn the growth on and then now once it gets to that level anything past that it'll start harvesting them for for to, to send to the food processor chicken carcasses, which uh, gives me uh, Meat which they go my people run through it pretty quick. So I'm not producing it very much of it pretty much my people are staying alive on here We'll look at it My people are staying alive. On, oh, this isn't the one to look at it's, You got to pick one of these right? Oh, I didn't and I didn't grab it from way over there grab the pipe here so pretty much my people are 
surviving on carbs, <laughs> carbs and, uh, and vegetables. So they're getting carbs and vitamins. I haven't made any treats. I have no fruit. I haven't made sausage. I'm not going to make tofu because the soybeans, they, they, I think it's, they don't got it. They don't got soybeans set up right. Uh, all the eggs are gone. They blow through the eggs right away. Plus there's not enough chickens anymore. Uh, you see the protein. So they basically my people are not getting any protein. They're living off of carbs and, and, um, vegetables. So you can see I have 200 and well, 318 months of potatoes, 148 months of, of vegetables and 106 months of bread and a little bit of something else, which I, uh, I guess I need to be burning off more potatoes. I guess we'll do that. Uh, maybe I got to figure out, maybe I should figure out a, like a really hardcore, um, potato process to deal with. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, actually let's do that right now here. Let's see. Copy. Uh, we could just stick this bad boy right there. Uh, let's select the potatoes. Potatoes, and because of that same priority, prioritized belt, it's not going to run the food one empty. Uh, U shape conveyor. Go there. I guess I could put a big bin here now too but uh we'll just let the trucks do it for now later on if i really need to empty this we'll do it so we just doubled that up like that and then now we can actually i want to try something i've seen i've seen i think i did this on accident one time i overlapped the build and it only there it goes and only put in the part that that would fit Oh yeah, yas, yas. Quick build that. See this one emptied out. It's it's uh. Oh, it must have been on the vegetable cycle. This one emptied out. Oh oh, what happened to you? Yeah 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 yeah. No 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 no. Truck import off. Truck import off. I only want it to run on the belt. So let's do this one too. Truck import off and truck import off. I want it to run from the belt only because if I don't, then that's kind of defeating the purpose. It's fill, refilling the bin. And then once the bin is back to the, to the level I set, which actually, you know what? I should drop it. Right. Uh, maybe not. Mm, wait a minute. Is it keep full? Is it the one? Is that the one where? No, it's keep empty. Let's drop it to 15, 12. No, it's full. So now I guess we're just leaving it, right? So what did I set this one at? Yeah, because it's pulling it off of that balancer. There go the vegetables. I can't do nothing with vegetables. You think you would be able to do some stuff with the vegetables, but it doesn't let you. I think because they, they consume the vegetables so fast. Like I might actually switch some of these potato cycles off to vegetables to catch the vegetables back up to the potatoes. And uh, it hasn't even made any for this one yet. There's its first load, and there it goes. So we'll see how that works. I, I figure as long as I clear the belt, I think it'll be fine because there's just so many potatoes in there. They're not eating them fast enough to clear that off anyway. So I think that's good. We'll see if I can manage to. Yeah, the second bin is, is filling up and it's backed up in the chicken farms. So let's bump it up. Let's bump them up. Actually, this. No, let's no, we need to keep it down one. We'll keep it down one. Let's see. The only way to find out is to let them run. And then I, I didn't build this properly to get room. So if I if I start using this, I might have to build another one like inside here somewhere, flip it around. We'll figure that out. I'm probably going to actually end up having to do that. 
but then I need to be able to get the chicken carcasses uh, into this plant. So I might end up having to rebuild this part and the fertilizer is almost it is full. So what we'll the jack the fertilizer up, which is fine. Actually, let's see. It's already at 90%. Let's do it at 100%. Seem to have the fertilizer for it, right? But not 110. Let's just leave it at 100%. And yeah, we'll see how that works. And then I think we're going to get into trying to use a greenhouse. Oh, there we go. They delivered cargo. Oh, how come they didn't? Did I not bring? Oh, I didn't bring them home. They were sitting there. So what level is it? Uh, that's going to oh, do it right. Okay. So I kind of messed that up. Wasn't paying attention to that. So this is a, this is kind of the, 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 the nitpicking maintenance you have to do, or you end up with crisis, like uh running out of diesel or running out of uh, I ran out of, there was, I wasn't, had enough water production over here and I was losing crops. Uh, my, all my chickens died four different times because I didn't, I wasn't producing enough, uh, animal feed for them. Uh, so this, this group of chickens here, this is the fifth time at chickens. Luckily I could just buy them off of a, one of the islands. So that was happening. Um, what else was going on? Oh, I, I wasn't keeping tabs on on the, the dumping. And now that I'm not wasting soil in here, we it's just rock and trash that I'm reclaiming land with. Wasn't keeping on tabs of that. Right now, I got this sulfur problem going on where I'm at to build another sulfur storage. I'll figure out what to do with it. Until I bit, built the petrochemical plant, I wasn't producing enough diesel. And then I was producing diesel. And I was in polluting the environment. My people were getting mad because I was dumping all the byproducts and I wasn't burning them off fast enough because I wasn't following the chain of of uh, distillation and then the cracking units all the way through. And what's coming up now is, is heavy oil uh, uh, distillation. What's going to take one of the fuel sources off of the, the gas burners, which is fine because I have to burn some of that heavy oil here because these aren't running all the time because these don't run all the time because of the cycles that they go through. So I would need to build another plant, run it off the same boiler, and maybe it would run more and burn more of the excess fuel. These two coal boilers haven't been on. This one and this one, the backups haven't been on, and I can't, I, I can't remember last time I seen them running. So I already know that I'm gonna have to build the, uh, the refinery plate area larger. And I got to cut the backside of this limestone down so I can just go straight over. It's a lot of managing things in the game. And I need to take a drink. But it's fun. I like it because there's so many things you need to manage. And there's things like that you can forget about. Like for a time I was trying to run everything off of fuel gas. Uh, that wasn't working. But now I'm producing enough diesel where it's I have these spikes use spikes use and it's fine. I, I want to increase the diesel production soon though and I'm just gonna basically copy This whole thing right here. Actually not this part. I'm gonna copy from This sour water stripper right there We're gonna copy it all the way back and make a second one back here to produce and all of that is gonna get me 36 more diesel per 60 only and it, but it's going to produce some other things, byproducts. And once I get that second one built, I'll be able to start decommissioning part of this. This will go away. The production will move back here and I can use this front area for storage tanks. I want to put more oil in, hold more diesel, some more fuel gas because then the fuel gas production is going to go up. And then the sulfur production is going to go up. And then the... Uh, Ammonia production is going to go up. So I'm about to make more fertilizer. I'm about to create more chemical plants because I'm have more ammonia coming out or I just burn it off. And then you're, then the population gets upset because there's a uh, pollution in the air. It is so much in this game. I, it, it's very exciting. I have a lot of fun with it. Uh, I hope all of you guys are kind of enjoying this. I'm learning it as I go. I haven't, I've watched a few videos in the beginning about basics, but I haven't watched anything about the uh, advanced stuff. So if I make a mistake and end up crashing and burning and it crashes and burns 
And if I do that, if I do something where my where my island collapses, where I can't recover it, then I'll just start a new game. I'm not going to go back into a save and try to and try to redo it and pick out the mistake. I'll go back into a new a new game and start over. And hopefully some of the things and the mistakes I made will be a little cleaner. Like I'll start doing this deep these deep digs right away, you know, start doing these digging down in the ground and getting the whole thing out. Cause it's more efficient that way, as opposed to stripping it one level at a time. That's not efficient. Uh, so yeah, captain of industry and early access on steam. I think it's a good game. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I even like this game more than I like satisfactory. I like satisfactory. It was cool, but satisfactory, um, you didn't have to manage the resources as much. You could just build these huge, massive uh, manufacturing facilities and you could just go, go, and go. This, you have to manage the resources, their consumption, and their byproducts. And that's what the best part I like about this. And if you like all of that, keep watching the videos, leave some comments what you think, or check it out on Steam yourself and let me know how it goes. And this has been Mad Minister Gaming with Satisfactory Let's Play an early access game on steam oh there was a big update today i read through they fixed a lot of bugs and stuff like that and made some changes uh fluid changes are one of them they're they're easier to identify just by look now and uh have a great evening great day great night great week whatever it is and i'll catch all of you on the next video and i'm out